Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will be learning HTML basics. At first, HTML or Hypertext Markup Language determines the structure and layout of the contents of the website. I'll be using brackets for the whole course. Download link for it is given in the description. First, we'll create a new file and save it in a folder with the name index.html. So this is the screen that will display after you create a new file in brackets after downloading it. Now let's start with the code. Explanation mark doc type html. We'll close the tag. So this tag doc type html tag defines the file as an html document. This tag is very mandatory at the beginning of a document. Now we'll type HTML. The tag you type is the opening tag and the duplicated tag which is generated automatically with the forward slash is the closing tag. Now in between of this we'll press enter and we'll write head with an opening tag and a closing tag and in between head we'll type title so the title tag whatever you type in this tag shows up in the browser's tab so we'll type my first website so now it will show up in the browser's tab after we save we'll save it and we'll check the live preview by clicking on the lightning bolt button on the right So the live preview is connecting and will show up. So as you can see in the browser tab it's written my first website as we instructed it to show. Now we'll close this and we'll continue with the code. We'll type body and in between body we'll type something. The body is like the main content of HTML. It contains images, text, links and many more things. As in my previous video, I asked you all a question, how many heading tags are there in HTML? The answer to this is there are 6 heading tags in HTML. Congratulations to those who answered correctly. Now we'll start with the heading tags. At first we'll type H1, which is the first heading. So tag open, H1, and between H1 tags we'll type heading 1. So we'll type until heading 6. H2 will type heading 2. H3 will type heading 3. H4 will type heading 4. H5 will type heading 5. H6 will type heading 6 now we'll save this file by clicking on file and then we'll check the live preview by clicking on that button so the live preview will open and we'll show all the 6 headings heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, heading 5 and heading 6 size decreases as we go up by the number so now we'll close this and we'll continue with our code so for now I only want to keep the heading 1 so I'll remove every other heading like heading 6, 5, 4, 3 and 2 now after writing the headings we want some paragraphs to display in our website so we'll type P and between the opening and closing tag we'll type this is an example of an HTML paragraph so we'll save this and then we'll check the live preview So 
so it shows the paragraph beneath the heading 1. This is an example of an HTML paragraph. So we'll close this for now and we'll continue. Now we want heading 2, so I'll type heading 2 between the H2 tags and beneath it I want another paragraph, the second paragraph with the text, another example of an HTML paragraph. Full stop. Now we'll save this again by clicking on file and then we'll check the live preview by clicking on the lightning bolt button. Now it shows heading 1 and the paragraph and heading 2 and the paragraph. But now we want some space between heading 2 and the set first paragraph. So in between the tags we'll type PR which will give some space between them. So we'll save and we'll check it by clicking on the like preview button. So now it looks neater with the space. But what if we want no space but a line that separates them both? So we'll erase this tag and we'll type HR. The HR tag, it will display a line between these two. We'll save the file and then we'll check the live preview. So there's a line between them now. But now I want line and space between them. So I'll type BR then HR. We'll save it and we'll check it. Like preview button. So now it looks neat but there's no space between heading 2 and the line. So we'll insert one more BR tag. Save it by clicking on file and checking. So it looks good now. Now we want to insert a link. So for inserting a link, we'll type ahref equals to sign double inverted commas http colon double slashes www.google.com Now we'll close this tag and we'll type between the opening and closing tags. Click this to open Google. Now we'll save this file and we'll check the live preview. So it displays a link beneath the heading to and when we click it, it opens Google. Now we want to insert the image. So you can download the image and insert it in the file in which you save the index.html file of HTML and we'll type image src and the image that you saved in the file and alt. alt means the alternate text by chance if the image doesn't display, then it will display the text flowers and butterfly in the alternate text. Now I'll define it some width. So we'll start by typing width equals to and double inverted commas and we'll type a value. You can type any value you want. I'll be typing 250 I guess. Yes. And then height. 160 and we need close stack. Now we'll save this by clicking on file. Yes, and now we'll check the live preview. So it displays this beautiful image, but we want it beneath the link. So what will we do is we'll insert a beer tag. So between them, we we'll write PR, one for getting it down and the other one to make some space between them. Now we'll save it again. We'll check the live preview then by clicking on the lightning bolt button on the right. 
and in the life review it shows heading 1 this is an example of an html paragraph then a line heading 2 another example of an html paragraph then a link which opens google and this beautiful image what we learned in this video tags used in a simple html document heading tags paragraph tag break tag and line break tag href tag used for displaying links and image tag question time how do we write a comment in html if you know the answer comment it below so if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. For most videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.